Hi and welcome to this video called 8 important steps to ensure successful website navigation uh, for your users. Um, this uh, video is going to be uh, about how you design a, a great navigation, a great uh, menu system for your website uh, so that uh, it helps your uh, users uh, uh, navigate around. And this video is uh, uh, both for the web designers out there, but also for uh, small business owners who wants to know more about this process and who wants to get a more hands-on uh, uh, experience when talking to a web web designer. Um, so uh, in this uh, video, I will be uh, ans answering uh, these two uh, questions. Um, can you show me an example of uh, navigation for a, a website with a lot of content and number two how can I ensure successful uh, web navigation web navigation on my website so to jump right into it um, we're looking at a website here I did uh, some time ago for a uh, local uh, non-profit here in uh, Silkeborg and uh, as you see the navigation bar is uh, up here on the right side of the the header portion of the website and the reason for placing uh, the header there you you'll probably notice that a lot of website has has the navigation bar here and uh, it is a, a a great place to to uh, to place the, the navigation it it gives uh, the users uh, a, a and an easy access to the navigation and um, people sometimes ask me why uh, do the navigation always get placed here uh, can we place it uh, somewhere else on the page and I uh, pretty much uh, always uh, advise against this because it's a little like driving a car you know if you uh, have your car at home uh, you're used to, to driving your car but if you go on a vacation and rent a car uh, you have the 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 knowledge of using a car to to just to to uh, get in the, the 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 rental car and start driving because you know where the steering wheel is you know where the speed of the the brake uh, and the gear shift uh, is so so uh, you haven't got any problems uh, driving a new car and it's the same principle uh, of websites so uh some uh, great rules for for uh, uh, content heavy websites is uh, be sure that your sub menus are uh, you know clear and concise and have uh, you know uh, that that the content and the the structure of the the navigation is uh, is done in a way that makes sense to people so you want your sub menus to relate to your uh, your super menus or your main menus up here a home button uh, like this one is always great to have so uh, people easily can get back to your uh, home page or your uh, landing page and uh, I'm, I'm not a, a big fan of uh, more than one sub menu um, but uh, you can do sub menus on uh, on web uh, pages uh, like this uh, menu out here on the right uh, but be sure to uh, to to make it uh, consistent all through the website, and this goes for this uh, this uh, top level menu too. You know, you want uh, the same type of navigation all through the website on all the pages, uh, so you don't confuse your your users, because um, users will leave your website uh, uh, if if it's uh, too hard to to navigate. Um, and also uh, don't have too many uh, uh, main uh, menu items here um, I uh, often go with a maximum of five uh, but if there's a lot of content you you may have to uh, to do more uh, main uh, uh, menu items um, it's it's a great way to to keep it down because uh, you you uh, a lot of people uh, get confused <laughs> or, or can't really uh, get an, uh, a great uh, grasp of what's on your uh, website if there are too many uh, main 
uh, menu items and it's a great way to to help handicapped people too if you are uh, you know if 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 you have a short at attention span for some reason or or have trouble uh, overlooking a lot of options uh, this is a great way to to help the help these people too and uh, keep the menu clear keep the the uh, the font a font you uh, easily can read and uh, the colors uh, e uh, easy readable uh, too so how can you ensure a successful website navigation for your website uh, here are uh, eight steps towards uh, uh, achieving this goal number one keep it simple always keep your navigation simple as possible uh, because uh, you know uh, the quicker the easier the p that people can navigate your website uh, the better as i said before if it's too hard to navigate your website people will leave in in uh, in seconds number two prioritize there is uh, tools and and you know uh, a a discovery phase uh, and and user experience uh, uh, discovery phase will uh, help you tell tell you uh, which menu uh, items to prioritize which menu item items that go uh, in front in in uh, sort of the queue if you look at it uh, this way so which uh, menu items are first which is second and so on um, think about this number three short uh, descriptive names it's always great to ke keep the names short and descriptive uh, you want people to uh, get a clear feeling of if I click on this menu item I will get this content and uh, and you want to to use only uh, if uh, one or two words to to describe this uh, the, the the page and um, number four as I said uh, before maximum five menu items this is a great rule to to follow there are exceptions uh, in working with websites with with a lot of content but uh, but keep it down to to five or less uh, if if at all times possible number five emphasize your navigation make sure that your navigation is uh, you know designed so it it fits into the website but also so it uh, it is emphasized and people uh, uh, you know see it uh, very easily uh, on your website I uh, have come across websites where uh, soft navigation or, or, or other types of navigation uh, actually are uh, you know standing out more than the the main navigation and you really don't want that number six uh, be consistent as I said be consistent all through all through the website and uh, be sure that the navigation stays the same uh, all the way this will really help your users get used to the navigation systems uh, real quickly and and help them uh, navigate your your website number seven use analytics use something like google analytics to uh, to to uh, find out uh, uh, if if users are landing uh, or finding the right content that you want them to find are they uh, you know uh, converting are they uh, are they uh, 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 you know going to the pages that you want them to go uh, if not you can uh, change up the the menu system or the navigation to help them better find the content that you uh, want them to find and in the last uh, uh, instance you know uh, get that conversion number eight user test um, user test is always great when building a new website and there are a lot of companies out there that will uh, will help you do this but you can also just ask you know family and friends to test out your website and uh, ask them questions about you know how easy was it to navigate uh, make a, a make small tasks for them uh, to 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 uh, you know uh, set a goal for them to find specific content on on your website and find out how fast they 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 found this uh, this content and um, this is a great way to to uh, to test out the the uh, how how easy it is to use so this was eight great steps and if you follow these uh, you uh, you won't go wrong I, I promise you that that if uh, you have any questions or comments you are uh, always uh, uh, I'm always happy to to, uh, to answer them so write them in the comments below or send me an email you're always welcome to uh, watch uh, uh, the other videos here on my channel so 
or subscribe to my channel <laughs> and also follow me on uh, on Facebook and Twitter. Um, so don't be a stranger. See you later. Bye.